the fourth grade, I went on a five day trip with my class to San Diego. And one of the first places we stopped to see was a museum known as the Whaley House. I had never heard of this place, but the whole point was to go take a tour and learn about its history and significance in San Diego and get suckered into buying an overpriced souvenir shot glass at the gift shop. I'm not gonna give you guys a whole history lesson about this place because I'm not a fucking nerd, but basically. This man named Thomas Whaley built this home and it was a pillar amongst the old town San Diego community. And his family lived in it too. And uh, yada, yada, yada. All right, so that was the boring origin story, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, and uh, this place is apparently haunted. Right this, oh wait. <clears throat> Roy to this Y, kids. What accent is that supposed to be? Hmm. Okay. So anyway, me and my classmates all head on inside. The tour guide took us through the home, showed us all of the different rooms, and told us all the history behind them. <sighs> this part of the trip kind of dragged because what kid has fun at a museum looking at a bunch of old rooms? Where the hell is all the haunted stuff? Dude, I thought this was a haunted house. I'm on a five day trip with my class. I thought I was gonna have a break from the boring history lessons and hear some crazy haunted house stories. Dude, literally the scariest thing we've seen so far was a slightly creepy staircase. And we weren't even allowed to go up the stairs. On May 6, 1856, Thomas Whaley began construction of the first brick built home in California. Blah, blah, blah. The San Diego County government rented space in the home. Blah, blah, blah. Local mm. thief, Yankee Jim Robinson, was publicly executed. Blah, blah, blah. And that, my friends, is the end of the tour. Oh, I almost forgot. Huh? Some say, because of the tragic deaths, that had occurred to many descendants of the Whaley family, the ones that lived and died in this house. Their spirits still linger and roam these halls. Because of this, some deem the Whaley house to be America's most Haunted house. Hell yeah! Finally! Now we're talking! Enough about the Whaley house, let's hear more about the haunted house. My friends had the same idea. Yes, question at the back. But what makes this place haunted? The eerie legacy of the Whaley house continued as the family members were hit with tragic deaths as well as paranormal and spiritual encounters that many still experience today. Like what? Eerie noises. <gasps> loud footsteps. <gasps> and some say a young woman still lingers on the second floor of the house. And she haunts anyone who doesn't buy a souvenir from the general store. <gasps> Don't forget to stop at our gift shop. <laughs> Holy sh! Did you guys hear all that? Anyway, after the end of the tour, we had some time to go off on our own, but I decided to just stick around in the courtroom and just chill. I thought the museum tour was gonna be a lot more boring. I mean, it was pretty boring, but we finally got to the good part of it. Wait, what the? Did I just see that? That was a reflection of someone standing, right? Okay, looks like I'm letting this stuff get to my head. 
Listen, I asked for a haunted house story and I got it, but at the cost of my sanity? I think it's time to, uh, a GTFO. Anyway, just as I was saying earlier, the museum trip turned out not to be that bad. I mean, yeah, it was mostly just looking at old rooms, boring, long, monotonous history lessons, but the haunted house stories were really fucking cool. And yeah, those ghost stories were pretty scary. But the scariest part of this whole trip was that tour guide's bad accent. <laughs> 